Hi. 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 Thanks for talking to me today. I appreciate it. I in, I enjoyed the episodes that we've seen. So for each of you, what was it that made you think you just had to take this role, Bill, either the script or the characters, whichever? We'll just go in order. Ty, Tyler, Sarah, Jake. Yeah, yeah. I had to take this role because... <laughs> <laughs> Because I genuinely love the story. I, I love uh, ranching and um, small town community and uh, and rodeo and that whole world. Um, I, I come from a rural area and I very much, um, it was a thrill to be able to be a part of that. And the character uh, was fascinating to me, uh, complex and interesting. And, you know, you, you don't quite know what the intentions are. Or what, so a lot of that, I mean, it's a dream as an actor to get to play any complex uh, characters. So uh, the the story and the show, and then you know the cast as uh, you know goes without saying. But I guess I need to say yeah. it. They're amazing. They're amazing people <laughs> inside and out, and and great performers. So that was you know a huge uh, you know factor and everything. But yeah, that's why. Sarah, uh, when I first read this script, the thing that stood out for me the most was the story of three strong, independent women yeah. who come together. Uh, not because they're blood related, but they bond and choose each other to be family because they love the land and the ranch that they've all come to call home. And with the support of these amazing, incredible men in their life, they all bond together to save the ranch. And and Valeria is, is a mystery. As an actor, it's a, I mean, it's, it's a dream to play somebody with such complexity and nuance and space for you to fill in the gaps yourself creatively. So um, I think that's what that drew me to this character and this role in the show. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jake. I play Tough McMurray. And to answer your question, I, I think what drew me to the role most of all was growing up watching family entertainment. I mean, it was not uncommon for us to get together with my grandparents, nieces and nephews and my parents' generation and watch something together. And um, with the landscape of entertainment changing so fast, everything's become so niche, but it, we, we've waited a while to see a show that can really bring the family together. Mm -hmm. And then add to that, coming from a music theater background, getting to sing on the show and live in this world of like integrity and hard work. And uh, then to be a bit of a black sheep within the world, it's been, it was a very lucky opportunity to have it cross my desk at all. And I'm so glad to be here with everybody, yeah, pinching myself you. still today. Same, yeah, same. <laughs> and, and Jake, I, that's one of the things I was gonna ask you, you really sang then in this. So with yes. that, I mean, did that make you nervous? Is it just fun and you enjoy it? Like, how is that for you doing as part of a show? Yeah, it, I mean, coming from a live theatrical background, the pressure is really on for those people, and I wouldn't compare it at all to doing eight shows a week. But and he there, nailed it. Yeah, it's it's so good. There's a there's a great infrastructure there. There's guitar coaches that are able to work with me, and then we sing in studio and then lip sync to playback. That's the movie magic that you get to watch. Mm -hmm. So there's a really big safety net there, but it's all my voice that you get to hear in the show. And the music team has selected <gasps> such an amazing soundtrack score, and then the covers that I'm able to do on stage as tough in the show are are excellent select so no roadblocks all just gravy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are some of the scenes that you guys enjoyed doing for your characters oh i know mine i'll say all the romantic scenes because <laughs> you know Tierra's amazing and incredibly but, easy to work with. And uh, he's a romantic other, at heart. And I am a hopeless romantic, so <laughs> getting to do, you know, meet cute stuff and 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 things like that uh, are really, uh, yeah, I really enjoy those. You go. I can go next. <laughs> yeah. For me, I took, I had never been before the show and I took to riding like a shot. I had a blast. So anything that we got to do on horseback and of course the dance hall scenes are amazing. Oh, We're yeah. surrounded dance by a town where that is what a real Friday night looks like mm, and yeah. getting to party with those people and really be in that world as an ensemble is a dream. Mm. I forget all the that amazing is, so scenes. Great. You forget? Yeah. I know. Dance, I get to look in on everybody. Yes, riding. I know. There's, I mean, there's what rodeo. isn't there? Yeah, it, it, I was thinking. Really, really. I was thinking. Wow, there are so many to choose from. How yeah. do I just pick one? But one that, or a few that will. We'll, I'll talk about are these amazing uh, kitchen scenes where you see the whole family in the kitchen or 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 at dinner, and uh, the energy is frenetic and electric, and we're moving and we're grooving and shaking. we're shaking. <laughs> and um, and in one of these scenes particularly, there were these two orange cats that sort of roamed around the space and sort of found themselves kind of 
try to get a they cameo. Ca- they every cast night themselves. So they, they ca- they're sag cats. We, we shot on location, and these were just barn cats. And, and, and I not a part of production. And one just sort of you know took a liking to me, and and I picked him up and he joined us in the kitchen for one of these incredible yeah. scenes. He's vying for a spinoff, I think. Yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah. suspicious, but we didn't even mention the rodeo scenes are yeah. also fantastic. They're We're incredible. in a stadium with sometimes 500 extras who are also big rodeo fans. So they're as immersed in the world as we are and, mm-hmm. and yeah. we can't thank them enough. So yeah, if, if you played in the background, yeah. hello and Shout thank out. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say the dinner scenes are great, except Gus gets up half the time. He doesn't always yeah. make it all the way yeah. <laughs> Um, the, now, you guys touched on, I was going to ask you, though, how, and, and Tyler, it seems like maybe you were, but how familiar were you kind of with this, you know, with ranching, with this kind of thing? How much did you know going in? And did they, how much did they teach you, I guess, once you did get there? What did they make you do? Yeah, yeah. I, I had both. Fortunately, I grew up in a rural area and, and grew up, you know, riding horseback and, and, you know, baling hay and, you know, corn detasseling and all that stuff. So it was a very familiar world. But on top of that, we had great wranglers. We had great uh, trainers who also worked with us uh, to sort of get us, uh, for me at least, get back in shape because it'd been a minute since I'd you know ridden and and been in that world. So uh, yeah, on both accounts, um, I was fortunate enough to have that experience. But yeah, very grateful for the help and the support that the show provided. Mm-hmm. What about you two? Were oh, you? Are we going down the list? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. List. All three of you. How how oh, much did you know going in? I knew absolutely nothing. Um, I knew nothing about the world. Uh, I didn't, I think it said on the audition, please state if you can ride or if you're afraid of horses or if you're allergic to horses. And I didn't even know. (laughs) I just said, no, they're fine. Um, I'll figure it out. Uh, And um, one of the most beautiful things that that I learned through this process was uh, this deeply rooted connection to my heritage. I am a half Uruguayan. And we have a a deep ranching culture in Latin America. And the second I stepped foot on this ranch, I felt this immense feeling of coming home and really uh, learned a lot about the history and my culture and felt more connected than I ever have before. And for my part, very little ranching experience, if none at all. But I think to Tyler's point, what's so cool is when we talk about the onset resources that we have, it's not just the wranglers that have a background in this work. Our hair and makeup team are at rodeos on the weekend, and, mm-hmm. and that's the truth. So yeah. we are very fortunate to have that framework in place. And you can and Sarah's experience is so vivid, but we felt that as well from tip to tail. Yeah. Everybody loves the world of the show, and they came on board um, as creatively as we did in every department. Yeah. 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 Did you have any like mishaps though with kind of the the riding and those kind of things at all? Or did it just all go fairly smoothly? <laughs> no, no riding mishaps, but um the horses do eat all the livestock do eat and drink and everything that comes with that and they don't know when we are rolling and when we aren't. So <laughs> there are a couple of cutting room floor takes where they get a little too nervous and help themselves through that process. <laughs> That's, That's almost sorry. diplomatically said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I was going to say, prob- probably some interesting dailies there. Um, yeah, right, so right. What, though, for the three of you, what, what did you find the most difficult, though, either with the character or physically or, you know, whatever? What, what did you kind of have trouble with? Was there anything? Huh. I'll, yeah, I'll go. go. Ahead, you um, Valeria is a Jill of all trades. She has many mysterious secret <laughs> skills that come up through her journey. <laughs> so I got to learn how to do a lot of things that I did not know how to do before, which is amazing as an actor. I mean, it's part of the reason why I wanted to become an actor so that I I could learn all these new amazing skills. Uh, so there were some moments where I had to Mm, figure it out <laughs> uh but I you'd think, never know it but Sarah? i think yeah no if i'm anything like my character i think i nailed it yeah hey Darn right. right. <laughs> absolutely i mean we're all lucky in that these characters are so multi-dimensional mm-hmm. they have so much going on and are hands-on about everything they do but on top of that to follow up we did get to shoot the sea uh the, the season through the season mm-hmm. so we experienced everything from spring to winter and all the temperatures that come with that and where we <laughs> shoot yeah. in Calgary, Alberta, it can get notoriously, infamously cold oh, yeah. to the point 
point where the the technology will actually uh, decide that it's done for the day. <laughs> right. So that that's the only thing I can think of. In addition to juggling all our skills, is dealing with Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I I it was uh, I, I totally forgot what the original question was because. Any, any hiccups? <laughs> what was difficult? Yeah, challenges you have. Uh, you know what? I, I, I hate to be a person who can't answer a question, Working but with it us. really wasn't. There. I mean, honestly, it was a joy. I mean, from start to finish. I mean, the the, the cast, the crew. Um, I know that's a cheesy answer. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think that's of something good. that wasn't great or wasn't, you know, like, or a, or a mistake or, or something that was difficult. Um, if anything, the parts where there was antagonist, um, you know, energy between myself and the other characters, because I don't have that with mm -hmm. these people in real life. So having to be antagonistic and having to play that as the character a really good actor. was probably the hardest <laughs> thing because it was so hard. And, you know, uh, uh, Bo plays Cash and, and, and uh, he and my character have a real antagonistic yeah. relationship and that's really not the case in real life no. so it is really hard sometimes to get yourself in that mode of i you know i'm not supposed to like this person mm. so that was probably the most difficult all right all right so you all talked about things you've learned like i said like sort of on the ranch and things like that but did you learn anything either about acting or just about yourself as a person from these roles having done them the whole season oh that's wow. great great Thank question you. Uh, I'll start. I, I learned that I have to, everybody has a different process. Mm. So each actor has a different process about how they go about the scene, how they prepare and how they're working the scene out. And so one of the fascinating, fascinating things to me that I learned was how I work things out comparatively to other actors. And, you know, when you're doing a scene and, and there would be times where I would want to rehearse it or, or you know, um, go over it again and again, I'm sort of a grinder that way. And, and some people that's not their way to perform and they need to as spontaneity and they need to have things happen in the moment and have it be just in the moment. So that was something that I will, I learned and will take away and, and grew uh, from this experience. Um, I knew this before, but it just, Resolidified itself in me how much of a team effort oh, making yeah. a project like this is it it starts way before we even arrive on set copious amounts of hours of prepping and planning and and then we get there and you know we're collaborating like Jake said with our crew who lives in this world who breathes this world and and they're just so talented and incredible and we're collaborating with each other and we're collaborating with the the director and it's all just a team effort and it becomes a family and that's one of the biggest things that i always wanted in my life was to have a set family and i truly feel like i found one here it's yeah it, it's exciting and 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 my answer falls on the same lines and you know, Isabel, Nancy, who plays Isabel, <laughs> says this in the trailer, you can't take anything for granted. Mm. And, and that is what I take away from this experience. Every minute that we've had to spend together to do what we love to yeah. do with craftsmen and technicians that are doing what they love to do, um, it's a synergy that, that we're very aware might be once in a lifetime. <laughs> so yeah. um, I've learned to not forget that and to remind myself daily how lucky I am to be in the shoes I'm in or the mm -hmm. boots I'm in rather. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. well, it's, a, it's, it's a great show. I really enjoyed it. So thanks guys. Oh, Have thank a good you. afternoon. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Bye, bye.